Hey guys, how are we all? Welcome to My Way Tarot. This is going to be a general weekly love reading for the sign of Capricorn. This can resonate with your sun, moon, rising or Venus sign, so please check out the other available videos on the channel so you get a clearer, more concise picture as what potentially could be happening in your love life in this week. Now, I could be reading for yourself or for your love interest, the one that's on your mind, etc. So please use your own discernment and flip the roles to however this best fits with your situation. But please do not make the story fit. Okay, guys? If the reading resonates, then that's awesome. Or if parts of the message resonate, then that's cool as well. If it doesn't resonate, it's simply not your message. So I have actually got the... Um, collective christmas countdown readings they are available on the channel these are pretty informal um, daily readings that are to do with a particular storyline and if it's just it resonates it's not to do with any um particular star sign or zodiac sign or anything like that um obviously i do let you guys know of the zodiac signs um during the reading though so if you are interested they are available on the channel for your um for you to view as well okay so let's get into this what's happening for love for this week this is for the third week of december okay so obviously these are timeless readings is whenever you come across them where they're most likely going to resonate but obviously up for labeling purposes i've got it for um for the third week so let's just have a look see what's going on okay angels of love and light could we please get clear concise messages what happening for capricorn sun moon rising and venus so this is the light seers tarot as well i thought i'd change it up um, i'll use these cards and then i'll use the radiant ride away to clarify oh okay so we have the lovers this is gemini energy we have the four of wands in reverse okay we have the emperor in reverse we have the hermit we have the eight of wands and we have the star okay aquarius energy so i feel like either you or your love interest um, could potentially be dealing with a third party situation potentially the only reason I'm saying that is because obviously we have the emperor being in reverse but I feel like something's definitely up in the air as of right now where a um, commitment isn't kind of moving into place or someone's having a realization or an epiphany about a connection and like something's being halted for some reason three of swords Ace of Wands, Seven of Swords, Ace of Pentacles in reverse, bottom of the deck we have the King of Cups, but there's definitely going to be something healed and something um, revived because we saw the, the star as what we don't see. So there's definitely some sort of overall healing to a particular connection. Yeah. I'm getting multiple connections, that's really random. So there's going to be some sort of overall healing at some point to do with um, everyone involved. That's wanting to come through for some reason. I feel like someone has a very strong, I feel like there's a very strong, passionate relationship between the two of you. Um, things may have been up in the air for a very long time and there's been a lot of heartache and pain and potentially a little bit of secrecy or um there's been a few lies or deception or ungroundedness and i feel like something is going to be revealed relatively soon king of cups in reverse so potentially either you or a love interest um have had difficulty with some sort of um, expressing of their feelings and they're moving on to calmer waters potentially moving on away from a baby mama or a baby daddy here with the empress being in reverse and then moving on forward with the knight with the knight of cups to express some sort of love um, and they don't want a headache anymore here they don't want any more drama or upset or any lies they just want to find common ground because they're feeling exhausted from a situation Potentially, I'm picking up on somebody is just wanting to get closure from a situation. They're wanting to heal from it and move on from it. And basically release themselves from an unhappy relationship or situation as of sorts. But potentially, I'm picking up for some reason. There's definitely a karmic partner 
um, or a third party situation where there's been a long term relationship as of sorts. Um, because we have the emperor and the empress of what we do see and we do see on the table um, showing itself. So there's definitely been a long term relationship of sorts that may be up in the air. There's been some sort of instability and heartache to do with this because it wasn't built on a solid foundation. There was lies. There may have been a lot of passion and a lot of lust, but potentially somebody's realising awakening to the connection that you can't just have passion and lust. And so therefore somebody has halted a particular connection to prevent it from moving on forward and they're giving up on it because it's not healthy in a particular way. And somebody's setting their boundaries with someone else. Look at that, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. There's definitely been a long-term family home as of sorts that hasn't been right. Potentially someone's had to move out or had to sell a property and move out or they've been uprooted to leave somewhere and move somewhere else um, because of this Four of Wands in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Maybe somebody lost their job or they've lost a significant amount of money to do with someone or something. Somebody could have stolen money here with the Seven of Swords, especially with the Ace of Pentacles being up in reverse as well. Yeah. Somebody is definitely going to have a reunion with someone else. I feel like there's, there's some sort of jealousy in the mix. The other thing I'm picking up on is potentially there could have, there's definitely been some sort of infidelity here. Of what we don't see, potentially there's there's been this King of Cups with the Empress. So a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And then somebody is, or maybe even another water sign. So we've got the Knight of Cups here as well. So definitely could be a significant water sign or a couple of water signs. This seems relatively complicated. I feel like I'm picking up on like two or three different storylines, which is really kind of um, throwing me. I feel like there's definitely been a long term connection as a sort that was really quite difficult. That wasn't necessarily right. There's been a lot happening and it was most likely a karmic connection as of sorts. And so somebody's had to uproot and leave and then... They're trying to heal from the heartbreak of doing that and trying to get their life in balance so that a new love that, that can be pursued here with the lovers being upright and someone's kind of maturing. They've grown a lot from this other situation and they're trying to address the emotional baggage that they've got in order to have a fresh start. But potentially there is... Um, there's some sort of disputes potentially to do with um, to do with a home or maybe to do with children. I feel like there potentially could be some sort of jealousy as well, because of because of these the 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 karmic partners in in reverse. There's been potentially some sort of emotional manipulation at play, or someone's feeling like they've got their guard up, as it were, like. Um, they're having to be very distant from someone else in order to stay away from them so that they can heal and move on because they've just been too tired from this whole ordeal I'm getting. And that's what's what's coming through, ordeal. Somebody definitely wants to have a new chapter when it comes to passion and they're taking action in their life. And they're strategically trying to figure out on how to do this and they will be able to rectify what they need to like need to fix before they can move on so they're going to do that but i feel like there's some sort of open communication is going to be coming through soon but somebody's been feeling relatively stuck and unhappy here with the sun being in reverse could be to do with a leo or could be talking to a leo actually i don't know why i picked that up to shuffle again because i was going to use the other cards weren't i but there's definitely been a lot of drama to do with a karmic partner here. Look at that with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse with the Five of Swords. So there's definitely been something of what we don't see going on. So let's pick up the Radiant right away and just...
clarify these majors that we have here on the table. So we have Gemini for the lovers, we have Aries for the emperor, and we have the hermit, which is Virgo energy. So you could have that strongly in your chart, or maybe your person does. Okay. But we do have fire on the table, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have um, air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, we haven't got water on the table, so we haven't got Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces as of yet. But we could do if when we clarify the cards, okay, guys? Because there's no, there's no emotion here, though, is there? Um, there's no emotion. So why is the lovers here for Capricorn? I feel like I need to shuffle again. The lovers, please. Why is the lovers here upright for Capricorn's love reading? Why is the lovers here? That's too many. That's too many. The cards definitely don't want to shuffle properly. Something doesn't want to be said. Anything to do with the lovers? Temperance, look at that, Sagittarius energy. Somebody felt incredibly stuck in the past, in relative in fear, but they're coming out of that. They're, they're finding out something. The blindfold is coming off. Potentially here with the Page of Swords. Yeah, somebody's big feeling more empowered. Look at that, four of ones again in reverse. They're next up like four of ones, four of ones in reverse. Somebody is finding out some sort of information that is getting them unstuck so that they can go forward with a reconciliation with someone and justice is coming into play. Look at that. This is Libra energy. Maybe someone's going to receive some sort of justice to do with their security and they're going to finally get the peace that they've been looking for and the enlightenment here with the hangman and have their emotional fulfillment and then allow themselves to move on from an unfulfilling um, situation that they most likely were betrayed in here with the Ten of Swords. What else is here for? What else is here for the lovers? Anything else that they need to know? Yeah, somebody's definitely been, look at that. Somebody's been enlightened. I've went through all the cards, but obviously I've been shuffling them. So someone is, realize they've had this epiphany that they're sacrificing what they feel like they need to sacrifice um, and being patient to leave a situation that doesn't serve them in order to have um, true love with someone with the ace of cups there's growing feelings and pure love there it's been um it's been guided to have this particular reconciliation look at that ten of swords Somebody is moving on away from a betrayal that there has been. Where they've been left out in the cold and therefore now healing and leaving an unhealthy relationship. Potentially they may have had children. Yeah. There's some sort of unconditional love here, especially with the lovers, with temperance, the hangman and the ace of cups. Somebody's having the pure intentions to move on and have a deeper commitment with someone and open up their heart with potentially a new love with this lovers. Somebody's getting like rid of anything toxic in their life because they've seen a relationship in a brand new light. Look at that. The Magician in Reverse and the Six of Swords moving on away from what doesn't serve them, moving on to Karma Waters and getting away from anybody who's been trying to portray some sort of illusion or trickster kind of energy or moving away from someone who they don't trust. Why is the Emperor here in Reverse for Capricorn? Kind of looked like he wanted to come out Reverse. Look at that. Knight of Cups and the Lovers. So somebody has unrequited love, potentially with a Gemini. Yeah, look at that double confirmation of unrequited love here. With the Page of Cups. 
un unfulfilled, someone's emotionally unfulfilled and stressed. And so therefore someone's deciding not to carry on with the connection anymore. There may have been infidelity. Somebody's definitely going through a breakup. Look at that, justice being in reverse with the Ten of Cups upright. I feel like something isn't going in someone's favour, but they're going to move on from it anyway, regardless, because they want their emotional fulfilment and they want to protect that because they don't want to be stuck in another old cycle with someone anymore. They want to be able to move on out of it and they're trying to gather the courage and the confidence in themselves to go through with a particular breakup to move themselves forward because there was imbalance. Somebody's deeply been reflecting on their life and they're going to come out with the truth about what it is they genuinely want here with the Seven of Swords being in reverse. Potentially with a Leo, doesn't necessarily have to be, or with another air sign. Someone's feeling very trapped up in their head, potentially missing someone else. And so therefore they want to go back with someone because they feel like they have unfinished business with this person. And they, they, don't, they don't want them to feel like they've been betrayed by them. They want to fix something. They may be moving on from a, a nasty relationship in order to have the four of ones upright. Look at that. So we're going from four of ones in reverse to seeing that again and then to seeing it upright. So somebody wants a reunion. Yeah. And they want to revive a connection that was thought to be dead in the past. Could be doing, dealing with a Scorpio, but it's actually going to come back to life. Why is the hermit here? The hermit? Why is the hermit here? Somebody was unfair to somebody else and now they want to fix it so that they can rebuild on the connection now. They don't want to be hot and cold. Yeah, look at that, the hermit. So Virgo energy, this person has had this kind of epiphany about a third party situation that was in the dark, that was secretive. And they felt restricted in it and then they needed to heal themselves so that they can move on out of it in divine timing here with the wheel of fortune and with judgment yeah they're getting help and collaboration to be able to move on forward to have the new beginning potentially to an empress why is the hermit here somebody's definitely maturing Is the hermit here yeah look at that this wheel is it's over the third party's over and somebody's wanting to work on a connection because it's most likely destined here that this person moves on to go towards their empress or towards their king of wands however it resonates we've got an aries energy we got um sagittarius we got taurus we got libra <coughs> aquarius leo scorpio um yeah, yeah, I said all. I said the fixed signs, didn't I? Yeah. So somebody is definitely wheeling out um, an old cycle that doesn't serve a connection in order to move themselves forward. Look at that. I just picked up the deck, and I've pre-shuffled all these cards, and I don't really look at them. Um, and so obviously I just picked up the deck to break it up to shuffle and we got free yourself and very soon. So somebody's definitely freeing themselves from a situation very soon. If they haven't done it already, they will be doing it. Just trust and know that somebody's breaking free from something. The situation is calling for you to have faith. What have we got here for Capricorn, please? Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership, pay attention to the red flags, the signs are cautioning you. So what I'm picking up on is potentially the karmic partner has been trying to keep hold of someone, keep hold of the partner, um, say about giving the relationship another chance, but there's just red flags. So someone may have to have their eye out and be careful and discerning. Um, yeah, look at that, but your person, Whoever this is resonating with this, they're not going to make the effort to give this relationship another chance because it came out reverse. But um, somebody is going to release their ex in order to have a chance with someone. They're not making the effort with this karmic partner, but most likely they will make the effort with the other person. I'll take that. 
take yeah codependency wanting to show itself addictions are affecting your romantic life so there could have been a, a very strong codependent karmic relationship i'll take um i'll take is there any more is there any more or i'll take one more capricorn oh okay keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations and forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in present moments and children. Your love life is being affected by children and this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So we know that there's passion there and look, new love wanting to show itself. Okay, this could be the one. And it kept, how funny, like that kind of drops there, like... Yeah, someone's trying to convince someone else that they're the one when actually they're not the one. I feel like that's a, another message as well. But anyway, guys, that is the end of the reading. I hope that you have enjoyed um, and I hope that it resonated or even parts of it did. If you did enjoy, please like, share and subscribe. Leave us a comment. I greatly appreciate it. And if you do subscribe, hit the notification bell so you guys get an alert as to when I post another video for you all. I hope that you have a very good week and we'll speak to you again soon. So please take care. Thank you. Bye for now.